Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, today we're checking out the WT Comp by Weight Tank. This is a product line by Locomotive Audio. It's made uh, right here in the United States out of St. Louis. It's a really, really cool compressor. We're going to be checking that out today on multiple sources. So the WT Comp is a very new type compressor. You know, a lot of times we might think of these as vocal uh, duties or uh, some sort of uh, bass compression uh, uses. However, I wanted to see what it could really do on multiple different things. Kick drum, snare drum, um, drum overhead, stuff like that. I mean, physically, it's got a lot of weight to it. The build quality is really nice. Everything about it just screams quality. Each of these units are built by Eric himself, calibrated before they leave. Uh, so it's just a really cool operation, very kind of grassroots, and the quality is there right along with it. Most of the time, I kept the release at its fastest setting, or very close to the fastest setting, which is counterclockwise in direction, about eight o'clock on the dial. For the attack, a lot of times I spend uh, most of my time about nine o'clock to 10 o'clock, and the input, or the amount of compression, was usually at least to noon, maybe 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. So I was actually pushing in a lot, and to my ears, this sounds like a very gentle compressor. It's really not too aggressive sounding, like, uh, like a FET might sound, and it can compress a lot without actually sounding like it's really clamping down. Sure enough, I looked up the specs and it was like 3.5 to 1 ratio, which is, um, you know, if you think on 1176, the 4 to 1 ratio is the lowest setting. So we're actually a little bit lower than your typical 1176 compressor. So it is a very gentle compressor, and you'll notice that this meter really shows a lot of dB. I mean, this meter goes quite a bit. I kind of didn't believe that meter at first, but as you can see in these examples, uh, it really does sound great, even when pushed. I'm seeking hope. It's where I choose to go. When the world around me has been nothing but scars. In the darkest night. I know there will be light. The dawn will find me when I want to take flight I'm seeking hope It's where I choose to go When the world around me has been nothing but scars In the darkest night I know there will be light The dawn will find me when I want to take flight
For the round versus drive, uh, these settings were both very useful. Anything with low-end frequency material like bass guitar that you want to kind of beef up, maybe a DI bass. Uh, the WT Comp actually is almost like a bass amp in a box. So it's more than just a compressor. It's really a cross between a compressor and a distortion box. This overdrive sounds very musical. Um, it's a lot more musical than a preamp being overdriven, and it really flows and transitions really nicely from clean to kind of dirty to even dirtier. In these tests, I noticed that the compressor sound is actually really quite nice beyond the 12 o'clock position. So 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, things just kind of come to life. And I think there's some extra kind of overdrive harmonics happening even if you're not in the drive setting, even in the round setting, uh, it just seems to be happier. So final thoughts on the WT Comp is that it actually sounds really great. Uh, I wasn't sure uh, how good this would actually sound because it's, it's pitched as a, a less expensive brand from Locomotive Audio. But I mean, to be honest, like there's nothing lacking here. Um, I, I wanna say that everything from the weight take line, it actually adds in some additional low end. It has a really nice silky top end. Uh, it doesn't subtract from the tone. Uh, you, uh, you get back actually more than what you put into it. Uh, so it's not that it uh, darkens the sound necessarily or you lose high end, but it actually just strengthens what you put in it and it makes it better than what it sounded before. Uh, really fascinating how something like that would actually even occur. Uh, but in general, it's a really good uh, sounding compressor, really good sounding overdrive for Bix effects, and it's just a really good utility compressor if you need something that is easy to use. Um, it's hard to make it sound bad. So I'd love to know what you think of this video today and if you think I should try it out on something else or if you have any ideas on future videos. I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Talk to you soon.